what's up. So guess what I have here today? It's, this thing is called the wok. Okay. Okay. Usually you see this in Chinese people or China or in any Asian Asian thing. Right? I will send you to G. Hey, what's up? My name is Jet and I'm, I teach basic cooking in my channel. If you want to check the things I've done and learn from it, feel free. We're still talking about the dry heat cooking methods. Today I'm going to show you the introduction to stir fry or how to stir fry. How to use a wok and stuff like that. Anyways, um, if we say stir fry, it's a cooking technique where we cook the food in a high heat using a wok. You've seen a lot of like cooking using a wok, right? From um, stir frying a rice, a vegetable, and beef, or even noodles. In stir frying, we cook in a high, high, very heat. And if you think this is high heat, no, that's not even close. They actually use a turbo stove. We call it a turbo stove, but you'll see that the fire is more hotter than this. <clears throat> the one thing you need to learn when doing stir fry is you can learn it from me. Um, there's this thing called mise en place or mise en place. This is a French term and it means to be organized in a kitchen. To be prepared. Um, because most of the time 80% in a kitchen is preparation and 20% is cooking. In order to create a good stir fry, right, uh, the first step you need to do is get ready your ingredients, uh, right? Uh, you're gonna prepare everything, cut it in cut it in hand and make sure they line up before you cook in here, right? Because once you start cooking in here, everything is just gonna go like that and like that and like that. There's so many food you can create using stir fry. You can stir fry anything. So when choosing a wok, right, there's two types that I know that works very well. Most of them are round and flat like this. Some of them look like this. Some of them have handle like this. There's two types of material you need to buy for the wok. The first one is a cast iron, right? It's good for handling the heat and looks cool. It's heavy and it's really clean for cooking. The most common one that everyone uses is called not carbon steel. Carbon steel. As you can see, this one is just brand new. Go do the dishes. All right, I'm gonna show it to you today how to clean this. I'm gonna show you how to season this, and you know you can keep it. The reason why we season the wok so it doesn't, you know, get rusty is one. The other thing is if you season this right, is you can, you know, it will become nasty. And it will help you to like build flavors all over and all over as long as you cook. First thing I'm gonna show you is cleaning your wok. Let's say you see a old wok from your house and you wanna use it and you just wanna, wanna really use it again for cooking. The first step is heat your wok in a high heat. Heat the pan up and heat the soapy water. Then we're gonna leave it for 15 minutes to cool. Right now I gotta set it for 15 minutes. I just gotta put it. Yeah, while you're waiting, just play games. <laughs> right, you can scrub it, but this is the only time you're gonna scrub it when you're actually cleaning it, right? You can scrub that. After you clean this like this, you don't need to scrub it. Now you can rinse it. And there you go. Most of the time we just rinse it and dry. So now I'm gonna show you how to season your wok. All right, the first step is just heat them up, heat them up in a high heat. And if you're using a carbon still like this, it will get like burnt or something like that, but you don't have to worry about it. There you go. This is what I'm talking about, that you see them getting colored. Don't worry about it. The very basic thing I learned is all you need is some ginger, chives, and oil. Oh shit, it's working. Put it in there. Put it in there. And there you go. And you're gonna throw this thing around. This thing gives the wok as a flavor and a coating. There you go. It has to be high heat, and you have to spread it all over the place. So it kind of like gets heat on all over the parts, right? And now once you burn that shit, shit in there. So this is the first time I tried it, so <laughs> if any Chinese chef saw me I'm doing wrong, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> once it's cooled down is we're not gonna clean it and scrub it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna rinse it with hot water and dry it. That's all we need to do. And that's how we season our wok. Then this is the color we want for the wok, right? This dark color is the thing that, you know, gives the flavor of it, right? Hmm. Right now I'm gonna fry an egg and let's see if it's not gonna stick or not. <laughs> and yes, 
to uh, the oil. I'm just playing with it. I'm just curious to the walk. I'm gonna then spin it around the how you want it. <laughs> so um, that's it for my video. Now I showed you how to use your walk and how to clean it. Now I showed you how to season. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is we're gonna cook using this. Okay? I'm not a pro still. This is just like my first agenda here. My first time doing this, but I'm just curious. So hope you learned the lesson and hope you like the video and. There you go, season your walk and tell your mom to like buy you a walk and subscribe. <laughs> Goodbye. Pew!